Hi fellow adventurers, I'm Stacy and this is Bill. And like many of our friends, we like to camp and travel and we always take our Coleman stove and our mini fridge. Yes, we do. And Stacy and I do keto. So what we do is in the beginning of the week, we meal prep and we take that with us. And we do the same when we camp too. But sometimes there's just not enough time in the road to actually stop, set up camp and make a meal that's warm. And the solution we found is the Hot Logic Max portable oven, and it is fantastic. So stick around with us and see what this little thing can do for you. You might ask yourself how you've lived so long without one. The Hot Logic Max features a 9x13 plate. It's factory set at 165 degrees, which will cook raw meat or keep any meal warm for you. Just plug it in and go. There's no other settings. That's what I like about it. That's my kind of cooking. You can use any flat bottomed metal, plastic, foil, glass. Even the cardboard stuff that you get at the grocery store. Throw that lean cuisine, that hungry man in there, in the box even. That's what I like. That's the best. With the hot logic, you can save money and time too. Let's say you had tacos. They were really good. The next day, put some in the hot logic, take it to work, and you have instant tacos for your lunch. Or on Saturday afternoon when you take the kids to the soccer game. After they're done, instead of going through the drive-thru, just plug in the hot logic in your car or with a battery pack. And next thing you know, you're sitting at the picnic table at the park already eating tacos, saving money. The great thing is you can do it from raw, frozen, or just warm in a meal. Makes it very convenient. Definitely. So if you're used to using a microwave, say goodbye to the splatters, the hot and cold spots, and the rubbery food. And waiting for the line. <laughs> you got to wait to use the microwave a lot of times. And we it's do. messy, and it's dirty. Yes. And it's yucky. It's contained in my own. Plus, you could take this 9 by 13 plate out, set it on the counter, Use it for potlucks, use it for tailgating, use it for family gatherings, and it'll keep things warm for you. And it's easy to clean. So Stacy and I got the 9x13 so we can make individual meals for ourselves. We're using 8x6 containers in here side by side. I'm so impressed with this thing that I think I'm going to buy the mini, which is a singular 8x6 container size. And I'm going to buy one so I can take it to work to avoid the microwave lines. There you go. And I've got my chicken and peppers. And you have broccoli and chicken and, chicken alfredo, and sauce. alfredo sauce. Now this has been cooking about two hours. And this is coming apart nice and juicy and tender. Mmm, that's good. It's very hot. It oh, is. it's warm. <laughs> it's definitely warm. I'm going to steal some of that broccoli. I'm going to just try it right now. He always steals my food. Imagine that. <laughs> I'm looking mm, forward good. to having the mini one to take to work. I think I want the purple. Now, on the mini, you can get that with a car, a DC car jack, or the 110 home outlet. Our car, our van, actually has a 110 outlet in it, and it's rated at 150 watts. Mm -hmm. The max oven runs at 110 watts with my kilowatt meter. The mini runs at 45 watts, they say. I haven't got a mini yet, but I'm going to be on Amazon, I'll tell you. Uh, you want a purple one? I want purple. I think I just want a black or a red one. Just a basic. I might get the car and the home one. So we'd have one for the car that just plugs right in the DC jack? Yeah. I could plug it in the 110 jack, but um, for you, for work, it'd be easier to have the 110. Correct. Yeah. The, the Max comes with just a regular 110 outlet, and that works perfect for at home or in the car or with our battery packs. We have the portable battery packs with the 110 outlet as well. And it draws 110 watts. So the nice thing about this, we've done two. We eat very differently. I have different yes, tastes do. than he does. But you can do a 9 by 13 pan. So it's great for family gatherings, tailgating, 
Um, if you have a brunch and you just want to keep it warm instead of having to reheat it in the microwave or somebody's getting it cold, if you leave the top off, it cools this down a little. It's really hot. I can't, I can't figure out how he's eating it. I did eat that broccoli. It was a little warm. <laughs> it's 165 degrees, guys. This is true. So <laughs> if you leave the top off and just let it sit here, we can eat out of here. And it still is keeping the food warm, but not so hot that I can't eat it. Uh, and this would be good, too, for like a, a taco day. You could have your meats and your cheeses and all your little things that you want to put on that you want warm. In here, you could even wrap up some tortillas and set them in there in foil or something to warm those up mm -hmm. and have it all ready to go and just take it out to the picnic table and sit down and eat it. I think this thing is going to be a game changer for us. Absolutely. And we have our butane stove. We love our stove and we set up at camp and stuff. But there are times where we just stop for a quick break and we kind of want something. Well, if you plan ahead and plug this thing in, when you do that stop at two or three hours, mm -hmm. you could sit down and have a nice meal. Absolutely. And again, cooking from raw is not a problem. Yep, Frozen cooked, meals are not a problem. I've cooked chicken breasts and chicken thighs from raw. And then I just used a meat thermometer because I wasn't sure. I would not use this. Took a little over two and a half hours mm -hmm. to cook a chicken breast and came right up to temperature. No problems. Tasted wonderful. Very tender. Very. I mean, this chicken is falling apart in, in this container. All the moisture is there. There's no burnt, rubbery, microwavy corners. Because those can be kind of bad. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> for And to make this in a car, you know? Yes. Because you've come home and you've pre-prepped everything. And like we do anyway. We do that for our meals anyway. But then to take this with you, put them in the fridge, put them in our little uh, refrigerator mm -hmm. and have them ready to go. Pop it in here. Plan two hours away. And you're eating. In the description below, we've included links to more of the Hot Logic products. And don't forget, in the comments below, let us know what you do with a Hot Logic. Or if you own one, let us know what your favorite recipes are and how you use yours. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there on our next adventure.